the Kiapa Little Badger TDX. Let's check it out. We're going to take a look at the Kiapa Little Badger TDX uh, and this comes in a small little tube this water resistant uh, this is a really cool little survival rifle and it's the smallest lightest 22 rifle in the world I mean when we're talking about minimal <laughs> this is definitely minimal so light so easy I mean it fires 22 so it doesn't have a lot of recoil obviously uh, you can't get this in 22 Magnum but it is a very packable rifle that's not only breakdown, it's takedown. The two parts separate. Now this was part of the holiday gift guide from GetZone.com. And once we did the video, I just really wanted to review this. Uh, I have previously reviewed the standard Little Badger by Chiapa. Uh, these are made in Italy. Uh, they're just really tiny, handy little rifles. And we want to give a big thanks to Chiapa for sending the Little Badger TDX for this review. Talking about tiny. <laughs> Guys, when it comes to a survival rifle, lightweight, very small, is critical. I mean, it's something that you want to be able to pack away, uh, make it really easy. And it's one of the reasons why the Ruger 1022 takedown has been so hugely popular and other survival rifles that have been around. Uh, I'm a big fan of these type of rifles uh, because they just give you so many options. They are limited, but yet they have that super small size. And that's part of the reason why they're limited. Guys, I was already a fan of the Little Badger uh, from the original review that we did. It's just a lot of fun. It's very cool. And it was small. But it's like the TDX, which is the takedown extreme. This takes it to another level. It just makes it really tiny. It cuts out all the different areas that you can make this smaller. And so it gets down to that minimalist size. And yet, it's very functional. Now here you have your takedown lever. We're going to check to make sure the gun's unloaded. And you can see that the chamber is empty. Again, it's right there in front of the trigger guard. It's so easy just to hit. And you bring it open. And then the extractor pushes the shell out, you pull it out, and you load another round. Now here is your takedown knob. You can see that it's on red, it just locks it down. If we take that and we turn it to the white button. So you got it matched up, we're going to hit the breakdown lever, bring it out, and then it just separates, just like that. Uh, you can see the little hook, and it makes it really easy to go over this rod right here, this bar. And so as we put it back in, there it goes, and then we just close it, and don't forget to turn that to red. Uh, you can shoot it on white, but if you break it down, it will come apart, <laughs> believe me. I have experience. But here, fairly wide hammer. And so as I'm bringing it down and back, uh, it makes it really easy to get a hold of. There is a half cock where you can bring it, and that is your safety. One thing too, the sights, uh, they're very similar to your M1 carbine sights. So you have a small aperture, you have fully adjustable windage and elevation. Here at the front, we have those protected ears with a post. Also right here is a cover for half by 28 threads. And this can be used with a suppressor. It can be used even with a little compensator if you wanted to do that. But this gives you some options as well. The barrel is all blue. It's 16.1 inches in length. Got a nice Picatinny quad 
a mount right here. There's a lot of different options. Obviously putting a small red dot on here would just give it some advantages, but maybe a little more difficult to pack away in your tube. The receiver is an aluminum alloy and it just helps to keep the weight down. Uh, here the trigger guard is polymer. And then we have this small little pick section here at the back. And that way you can put a grip actually on here if you want. In fact, Kiapa offers that. Now we have a buttstock that is foldable, but before we fold it, I just want to show you this little feature. Uh, you can put small rounds. Uh, in fact, they'll fit 12 rounds right back here. One thing I love about this is it's really easy. You're shooting single shot anyway. It keeps you from fumbling around in your pocket. And guys, honestly, it's really usable. And there's the same thing on the other side. And while we're at it, we're going to go ahead and load this up. I'll just tell you guys, using it with this makes it so much easier. Uh, on the first review that I did with the little badger, I didn't realize that this had place for your ammunition. And one tip I've learned with the shells is to go ahead and push them all the way to where they hit the buttstock. And all you've got to do is just pull off the bullet and it goes right in. You notice there's a little lot knob here, and so we just untwist this. What this does, it locks it down into the open position, and then it just closes. And you can tighten that up, and you know it just gives it a very flat option, so you can put this in that tube without any problems. And guys, with the original Kiapa Little Badger, uh, you know it's just a lot of fun. And really, once you start kind of getting the the rhythm, and that's really the big thing, you just start shooting breaking it down, loading it around. I mean, it just makes it really easy. And uh, it is slow again, but you do have this option. And you may not be able to take a different type rifle. Whereas with this, you've got the 16 inch barrel, which is gonna give you some velocity. And these sights are really good. Uh, we put a red dot on it, obviously, you know, we're gonna get some advantage, but then again, you can't pack it away. So that is one thing that I love about this is it's so minimal. I really wouldn't wanna add a lot, but if you want to, grip scope whatever you want suppressor i mean there's a lot of different things that you can do to this now guys on the original version uh, they do offer a model with the really small little 22 scope uh, to be honest with you it's it's really low quality i'd really rather have a small little red dot but it was a great little rifle it did have that extra part of the stock that came down at the bottom but to be honest i mean you don't really need it but it's still a cool option. Those do come in black and also in a new FDE color. And you can get it with the sights. If you opt for the scope, there are no sights. Now the length is 31 inches overall. Uh, once you break it down, it gets it down to 17 inches, which is just really small. Weighs 3.54 pounds. Very lightweight option. And that includes the 12 rounds of 22. And again, guys, you want to check to make sure it's unloaded. But take your knob, turn it. Hit it again, pull it right out, take the knob on your buttstock, now notice on the buttstock there is a small little lip and it actually goes in between your pick rail. So it just locks it just like this and then mates up, gives it just a little bit more stability so it's not bouncing around in your tube. Then we'll take it, drop it in to the tube. You'll notice this little foam piece. There's one at the bottom as well. We have some nice wide threads to be able just to close this up. I'll tell you what, guys. I, I love the tube. I love that you can pack this away. Throw some desiccate packs in there. And um, you've got yourself something that you can really stow away if you want. Again, it goes on a boat, in a canoe, and it'll float. <laughs> I mean, it's just got a lot of cool options. Hiking, camping, hunting, survival. Again, it is the smallest 22 rifle in production, and that makes it really cool. Now, this is so lightweight, tiny. Of course, it is single shot, so you've got to load it each time. Pull that hammer back. Fire. Release the shell. Comes right out. I mean, while it is slow, it, you get into a rhythm. Plus, you're not wasting a lot of ammo. This is great for backpack, definitely very small, lightweight, and that's a big part of it, is just that lightweight. But again, you're getting that rhythm, having those rounds right there on the stock, make it really nice, you're not fishing for it. 
I like that aperture sight. Uh, didn't have it on the first model that we did. But for a minimalist rifle, for survival, you want something in 22. I mean, throw a box of 22 in this, and you have a very lightweight, handy option. Love it. Honestly, it reminds me a lot of the old Air Force survival rifles. Uh, very compact. Of course, it had two barrels. Different design, but I think a lot of the cues were taken from this. And guys, it just is a tiny package. Now, the manufacturer suggested retail price is $280. Obviously, market price is considerably less. In fact, I've seen some that were very reasonable in price. Uh, this is a newer model, so I saw a lot of out of stocks with these but check around and you can find one uh, the original little badger uh, i've seen a number of those and guys i'm just telling you the prices are really right on these now the length on the tube is 19 and a quarter inches so any backpack that you have that gives you a little bit of room to place that in there i mean that makes it a perfect option and again they do make some pouches that actually fit these but it's just really easy and handy to pull out of your backpack it's really quick to assemble. Guys, it's one of those things where you just happen to have it and you just really need a little 22 rifle. And this gives you that option. And it may be something you never would take otherwise. And also, we really appreciate Fioki for sponsoring the ammo for this. We didn't have to shoot a whole lot, but we ended up shooting about 100 rounds because it was so much fun. And the great thing is, it doesn't matter. You can shoot shorts. You can shoot longs. You can shoot any type 22 long rifle ammunition because it's not going to be finicky. And then again, it does come in 22 Magnum. Now let's talk about some pros and cons. Um, it's tiny. It's packable. Um, it breaks apart and goes into a small tube. Fits in most of your backpacks. Uh, it's super lightweight. I mean, this is great for a backpacker's gun. Uh, and it's great for a survival gun. Maybe something in your boat. Something that really you can hide away. You don't even think about it, but if you need it, you've got it. And the design, very well done. I mean, the rounds on the uh, butt pad, uh, the different quad rail, uh, the sights being aperture sights, similar to an M1 carbine. And it's just a solid little rifle. What are the cons? Well, it's single shot <laughs> and you know, it's slow to load. I mean, you can get pretty quick with it, but it's definitely limited. But because it's limited, it, the size can be made very small. Um, and as far as reliability, I mean, it's a single shot and it'll fire. Are there better choices? 1022 takedown, the Marlin Papoose, uh, the Henry survival rifle. I mean, there's a lot of cool options out there, but none so tiny as the Little Badger TDX. And again, a big thanks to Kiapa for sending the Little Badger TDX and also for GetZone.com for putting all this together. Be strong, be of good courage. God bless America. Long live the Republic.
I found too is pushing these all the way to the back. Okay, let's do that. And guys, with the original, guys with the original Kiapa, guys with the original Kiapa little tip. And we really appreciate Kiapa. That we really appreciate gets uh, weighs 3.54 ounces. I mean, and uh, throw some desiccant camp, desiccant, throw some desiccant camp 